Cryosol formation involves a group of processes that are related to the behavior of water in frozen soils and in the transition of water between solid and liquid states. These include frost churning, or cryoturbation, that results in a highly disrupted pattern of soil horizons, as shown in this example. Bodies of ground ice can also form in a variety of shapes and sizes, ranging up to meters in length and width. The uppermost part of a cryosolic soil contains the active layer, the depth to which thawing occurs during the summer season. The lower boundary of the active layer is the permafrost table, and at this depth there is often a particularly high concentration of ice, usually occurring in lenses or layers. Just above the permafrost table, there can also be pockets of organic material that have been mixed into the soil by frost churning. In this example, the small pieces of orange tape mark the location of the permafrost table. 